The blog is called God, Politics, and Rock and Roll, and both Tara and I are very politically active. We have the greatest conversations with our friends in the, in the political realm, and the conversations are always really interesting because I think politics draws the exact same type of personality. So we'd be sitting at a lunch table, we'd be talking to friends, and, and it would go from, uh, what do you think Barack Obama's chances are in the presidential election to, hey, how about that great movie, uh, Juno? Anybody seen that? Um, I also joke that we'd make the worst dinner guests because you're never supposed to discuss religion and politics at the table. Well, politicians do that all the time. We sit there at lunch, we, we talk religion, we talk politics, we talk celebrity gossip. And I said to Tara, I said, wouldn't it be interesting if we had a blog that, that was kind of a conversation with our friends that reflected all of that? You, you could talk to, about Britney Spears in one post, and then the next post you could talk, you could analyze John McCain's presidential nomination process, you know, and things like that. And, and we thought that would be great. And we thought that people who were really connected into politics, it would be something that they would enjoy reading and it wouldn't just be restricted to a political conversation. So the blog is really meant to uh, be a conversation with our friends and of course the unique perspective of the blog is that she is a liberal democratic activist, I'm an evangelical conservative republican activist and so there, there's a certain curiosity factor in that and people say well I'll, I'll figure out how these guys make that work, how do they talk about things and so that's drawn a lot of unique interest. I'm Jeff Angelo. I am from Creston. Uh, my district is district number 48. That covers most of southwest and south central Iowa. It's actually seven counties. It's the biggest district in the state geographically. Uh, my wife's uh, Tara Van Brederoad. She is from Ames and she is an attorney uh, who practices law in Huxley, Iowa. This is a blog that has a couple of competing ideologies, but it's a very positive, upbeat, uh, presentation of our points of view and what we think about things and there there is a lot of mean spiritedness out spiritedness out in not only political de debate but the blogosphere itself uh, you can go to a conservative site or a liberal site and and find a lot of anger and venom and I thought but what about for people that that would like to see two points of view presented in a, in a, in a much more neutral positive manner and uh, that's what I think we've been trying to achieve through the blog and I think we're, you know, when you, when you look at, you know, Jeff is right. I mean, obviously our, our friends talk like this. You know, we, we touch on those topics that scare other people off. And I think when you get to know people who are really passionate politically, um, who also have, you know, are able to kind of keep a sense of humor about some things and... Mm -hmm. Um, maybe not be so self-absorbed that they always believe that every idea they have is exactly right and they're willing to listen and they're willing to engage. You know, that's, that's great fun. And we both, you know, we both love doing that. Mm -hmm. And so having the chance to do that, of course, you know, was fun. And then the other thing is, you know, I come from a family full of Republicans. You know, it's kind of like talking to your, it's, it's a safe way of, t my dad or, you know, my parents, um, for a long time, I think my father in particular didn't want to engage in political discussions with me because he was worried it would be too personal. He was worried mm -hmm. that it would be, you know, that, that there would be places where he didn't approve of what I thought. And I think, interestingly now, you know, as we've expressed more of these kinds of ideas going back and forth on the blog, I think even, you know, even somebody like him who, who didn't realize that there was fun to be had in all of it kind of can see that there is, you know. Yeah. I haven't served 12 years in a legislative body, you know, debating this stuff constantly. I don't have staffers helping, you know, formulate talking points. And, I, you know, I don't have that. And so what I was bringing to, I think, earlier discussions and debates was, you know, kind of just stuff that I picked up here and there and things that I had learned from just being an involved citizen and an activist and all of that. And I think I felt... Early on, I, I you know, I, I would kind of call Jeff on, you know, okay, don't, don't try and beat me, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> be mm -hmm. kind to me because I don't have the skill at, at debating that you do. Of course, you're a lawyer and he's not. That's true. That is true. Uh, yeah, I, you know, and I think over time, as both of us became more trusting of each other's motives, you know, I know he's not trying to tear me down. And I know that while we joke about it all the time and we pick on each other about 
you know, about various political things, or we'll make, you know, we'll just make, uh, you know, I'll tease him about his stand on immigrant, Im, you know, immigration or whatever. But it's not me trying to kind of, you know, rip him apart over What's that. What's wrong with his stand on immigration? What's wrong with this stand on immigration? <laughs> ah, hmm. this, this is the part of the interview that Doug has been <laughs> wanting to get to. What's, Go ahead. How long? I don't know. Um, you know, that it's, it's not an issue that I know enough about um, to be able to tell you. I, I know a little bit about the proposal that they're making, and I think that, um, you know, at first blush, the Democratic proposal makes a great deal of sense to me. I think some of the things that Jeff is pointing out are, are important issues, but I, I think there are some political motivations behind the way they're raising it this year. So, <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> two, two very famous mixed political couples in this nation are Mary Matlin and James Carville, uh -huh. the, the famous political consultants. And then, of course, in California, you have Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver. Right. Which couple are you more like, or which couple would you like to be more like? We've always kind of drawn the parallel to Carville and Madeline, but that means I have to be the bald, angry guy. So yeah, yeah. I, I think I'd rather be Maria. Yeah, I think we've decided that that's the better, that's the better fit, that I'm Arnold. And you want to be Arnold. Of course, you can never be for Arnold. president if you're Arnold. That's exactly right. That's, uh, that's an advantage I have over Arnold. So, uh, <laughs> but he could always consult me if he would like to. If he'd like to be my California chair, Maria uh, made me happy by picking my candidate. I know. The other day, yeah, so I was, was I was pretty excited about that. Yeah, but.